More than 26 million Americans, including a quarter of a million right here in Southwest Florida, are drinking water contaminated with so-called forever chemicals that can wreak havoc on your health. But the newest numbers from the EPA released last month are just the tip of the iceberg. Both shocking, but yet it's it, not too surprising. Dr. David Andrews with the Environmental Working Group studies how chemicals detected in our drinking water impact our health. These chemicals are very unique in their ability to really cause harm throughout our body. This interactive map from the nonprofit Environmental Working Group shows the results from more than 3,000 tests that the EPA has conducted across the country. It's part of a plan to test more than 10,000 water systems nationwide by the year 2025. Zoom into Southwest Florida, you can see PFAS chemicals have been located in multiple areas. The largest water provider in the area told us they constantly test for PFAS chemicals and have instituted a strong treatment program. Rest assured that Lee County Utilities water is safe to drink, the county said in a statement to Fox 4 Investigates. To ensure the safety of our drinking water, LCU has implemented various treatment options at four out of our five water plants. PFAS chemicals are used to make products that resist heat, oil, stains, water, and grease, but they don't break down in the environment, and they've been linked to cancer, developmental delays in children, and obesity. It's literally raining PFAS on us. Fox 4 Investigates previously showed you the story of Stell Bailey, who grew up on the Space Coast. I was diagnosed with cancer in 2013 alongside my little brother, our uncle who's not blood related, my father, and our family dog. So we all got cancer, boom, 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 in the same year. Since then, she's worked to fight against toxic waste and PFAS chemicals. The Environmental Working Group says these numbers, while staggering, are only a fraction of the real number. They estimate as many as 200 million Americans are exposed to toxic forever chemicals in their drinking water. If you're on a private well uh, also, or if you're on a very small system, just because you're not on the map isn't necessarily an indication that you're in the clear. Andrew says there are several filters on the market which help eliminate PFAS chemicals in your home, but he says ultimately it will take federal involvement to protect the drinking water from forever chemicals. I think it's it's shocking both how how prevalent these chemicals are in our environment and yet the lack of, of, of federal action and really urgency to address this problem. There is some good news in the fight against PFAS chemicals. There are a lot of filters you can buy that will reduce the amount of chemicals in your drinking water and most major utility systems are routinely treating and trying to get rid of those chemicals in their water. For a full list of resources and to look at that map for yourself, go to our website, fox4now.com. Ryan Kruger, Fox 4 Investigates.